Hi, welcome to this video where I'm very excited to uh, show you the Real Presence Trio upgrade to the uh, 541 version. And that is the uh, Microsoft Office 365 Sky for Business Online qualified version. So to do an upgrade, there are a couple of ways. So if you got one unit or two unit in the same office, you can uh, use a USB stick or use the web management. And you saw in the previous video how to enable the uh, web management. So if we go to the first method, for example, using the web management, you can find on the uh, Visual Plus left below, you can find the IP address of the Real Presence Trio. So you go into your browser and you will connect here to the Polycom Web Configuration Utility. You log in here with the default uh, password if the system is still in the default mode, uh, 456. And now we are in the Real Presence Trio. You can find the software upgrade under Utilities. You go to Software Upgrade. You click here on Check for Updates, so it will check for the latest software. Now you will see a list of software versions here. So here you see the listing, and the 541 is the version which is qualified for the uh, Office 365 connectivity. You click Install, and now good to know if you click Install. It's probably good to get a coffee. It will download the software on the Real Presence Trio. Then the Trio will first be upgraded. And after when the Trio is upgraded, the Visio Plus, if you have that behind the screen, will be upgraded. So this will all be done automatically. Just sit back and take some, uh, some coffee. The other method, which I will use, is you go on the Polycom website and here you will find under the uh, video selection you will find Trio and here you can download also at minimum 541 revision AA so you download the software you click on it and you submit and you accept the restrictions and now it will prompt you to download the software. So you download this on a stick and on the stick which I downloaded it to right here you unpack the software and then you will see this content on the root of your stick. It will be required to be a FAT32 formatted stick. So you put there all the files. The most important one is this one, the zip LD file. This is the firmware upgrade to the 541. At minimum, this file should be on the stick. You can also add a CFG file if you want, if you want to push some configuration through the USB stick, that is also possible. But at minimum, the zipld file need to be on the stick. So, the file is on the stick, you just take the stick from your PC, and you go to the Real Presence Trio, so on the side, you see here it has the USB entrance, so we put it in. It detects that a USB stick is attached. Enter the password. Okay. In my case, the default. It asks for USB provisioning. Yes. And now what you see, it will reboot and it will download the software 
instead of downloading it from the internet, it will download the software now from the USB stick. So, so what you will notice during the USB provisioning, you will see on the top right, you will see a small scrolling wheel. So that means the files are now being downloaded from the stick onto the uh, Real Presence Trio and after that it will do a, a reboot to initiate the, uh, the upgrade. Uh, I think you just take a cup of coffee, it will reboot and after when the Real Presence Trio is upgraded you will see that the uh, Visual Plus which will be upgraded which I will show you. So after drink some coffee, the trio is now upgraded to the 541. So as I said, automatically on the Visio Plus you will see left below that there is the small wheel now on the Visio Plus. That means the Visio Plus is now downloading the latest software from the trio. There's nothing you need to do. Just leave it as it is. It will do the reboot and finish the upgrade. So now the trio and the Visio Plus both rebooted and should be set up with the latest version. So you can check that. If you go onto the trio, you can go under settings and then look under status and check the platform application main and here you see that the latest version 5.4.1 is loaded and this is at minimum needed for the office 365 integration